Salesforce said on Wednesday it would lay off about 10% of staff and close some offices. Becoming the latest tech firm to cut costs amid an economic slowdown, the company expects it will take up to $2.1 billion in charges due to the restructuring. Around half of that will be recorded in the fourth quarter of fiscal 2023. Co-chief executive Mark Benioff said in a letter to employees, the environment remains challenging and our customers are taking a more measured approach to their purchasing decisions. Companies from Meta to Amazon have taken steps in the past year to prepare for a deep downturn. That, as global central banks have aggressively raised interest rates to tame decades-high inflation. And businesses that relied on cloud services during the health crisis are now trying to reduce expenses. This has hurt companies like Salesforce, which owns work messaging app Slack and Teams parent Microsoft. As revenue accelerated through the pandemic, Salesforce hired too many people, Benioff said, stating he takes responsibility. Affected US employees will receive a minimum of about five months' pay. Salesforce growth has slowed down during the past four quarters, with the company posting its weakest revenue increase for the three months to the end of October. Its shares rose 3% before the bell, after losing nearly half of their value last year.